Hey guys, what is up? My name is Dave, and to those of you who are not aware, I'm currently recovering from a really, really bad hack. So, I'm actually doing some little side goals to recover on top of just my normal rebuild series. And these goals, the monsters that I pick for these, are actually based on what people vote for on my Patreon page. So to all of my patrons, thank you very much, I appreciate that. Um, and this month they voted for 12 hours of Demonic Gorillas. So I decided that I would want to duo this just because my gear isn't really optimal for solo gorillas right now. So Waff and I are going to start 12 hours of Demonic Gorillas and see what we get. Something that I know a lot of people are going to want to know is what are my starting kill counts here. So I've killed 1445 Demonic Gorillas and we'll see what we have by the end of it. Obviously Waff's going to get some of the kills too, but as I'm the one in Darax, hopefully I will be getting the majority of them. Just started and we already got a double magic seed drop. That's pretty nice. <laughs> Starting off with the ballista limbs on what is this? Oh, actually, I don't even know. We've been here for about 28 minutes. That's our first drop. There is our first dragon scimitar. I don't actually know the official drop rate on these things, but it for between Waff and I, we've done this for about six hours the other day too, before we even started this. Um, we're pretty dry on on Z Knights, Zen Knights, however you want to say it. So that's probably like our eighth scimitar. <laughs> and uh unfortunate death number one by aggro switch. <laughs> Finally we got a Xenite Sharp. Nice. Finally Zenite Sharp. <laughs> oh my god. 18 that hours so later. Long. Yeah. Jesus. We just got <laughs> Xenite into Dragon Scimitar. Back to back. That's pretty nice. Ah man. This would have been a good one to get a little while ago, but not so much anymore. Heavy frame. Honestly, I don't know what these actually go for these days. Apparently, they go for 13k, which is actually hilarious because they out for 30. Uh, wow, rip. So many of these, dude. Wow, what? Well, there's another heavy frame. I accidentally made this into an incomplete one because I didn't. I've never actually made a ballista before. I didn't realize I could do that. But that's kind of cool, I guess. I mean, would have been better if it was a Xenite. Like, literally, like, three kills later, Ballista Spring. This is, uh, can I just do this again? Oh, wait, can I do it on this one? Hey! Now we just need a Monkey Tail. This is ridiculous, dude! There we go. Xenite number two. Thank God. Why does Waff get all the Xenites? All I get is the Ballista shit. Another dragon scimitar. We also got more magic seeds earlier too. And is it, wait, is this our third ballista spring or second? I think it's our second. Maybe I don't know. Actually, it might be third. There we go, boys. Dave getting the Zenite, Zenite, whatever. In my name this time. That's number three. We're doing pretty well. I think three is probably what we really expected to get in these twelve hours. Actually, maybe four. Depends how many we end up killing by the end. So hopefully one more and we'll be satisfied. We still have six hours left as well, so. It has been another, like, ten minutes, and I just got another Zenite Shard. Ooh, feels good, man. Alrighty, there's a Light Frame. I think the only drop we're missing now is a Monkey Tail. I, I could be wrong. Uh, what do these go for, actually? Oh, they're like <laughs> 30k. They're pretty much the same as the Heavy Frame. And our next drop is a pair of Ballista Limbs. Dude, that's gonna be in the video showing this part. <laughs> so we just started our next trip, guys, and we have 4 hours and 33 minutes left, and we just got another one. So this is our fifth shard, I believe. This is so good. 4 hours and 8 minutes left in Ballista Spring. I don't know how many. I have not even keep track of those anymore. Alright, guys, we just got another thing. Only 35 minutes left now. Ballista Limbs. So, I mean, that's not good, but it's nice to see a drop at least. Like, five kills later, we got a Ballista Spring. I mean, alright, I'll take it. Alright, so we just finished up our 12-hour challenge. Now we are going to go see what our loot total up to be. I have everything. I think Waff just has I gave off those Ballista pieces. So we're going to see what the loot total's up to be. I'll probably buy some Monkey Tails and just make all those things into actual Ballistas and take that out of the coins that we got. So um, we'll look at all the darts and everything we spent as well. So... This is the total loot. Um, I'm not going to price check anything. I have all the coins in Platinum Tokens because we didn't do this all in one trip. 
I'm gonna go now and turn these back into coins at the Grand Exchange and then buy the monkey tails and Wop's gonna give me the other pieces that we have for these ballistas so we can just make them all into ballistas and sell them. So it's not gonna affect the profit obviously because we're just using the coins that we actually got from alking the rune drops. Alright, so buying monkey tails actually makes you lose money. So I just lost like 100k doing this because <laughs> this, this is just a flawed system right now. Um, but yeah, Waf has a couple other things that he's just gonna give me. I think it's just the... Yeah, the springs and stuff, so I'll have him note those so they fit in my inventory, and then I'll sell everything. So while I'm selling these uh, last actual like kind of cool items, I'll tell you guys about how many supplies we used. So in total, we used about 2 million supplies between our scales and darts. Wow, is the heavy frame actually like 200k? Oh my god, it actually sold for 273k. That's actually crazy. So we used about 2 mil in supplies. So we're going to take that out of total profit in a second here once we finish selling all of this. Which, by the way, I can't believe how much this is actually all selling for. Although this says... Alright, that's that's actually about right. And the part everyone actually cares about. Let's see if these all sell for 12.5. And they all sell for about 12.5. So, 77 mil. Split that between two people. And I'll give you guys the full calculations in just a second. So, the total that we both get is about 38.7 mil. Which is incredibly nice for 12 hours of work. And like I said, it's 38.7, we both spent about 1 mil in supplies each, because the 2 mil was the total supply cost, and that was the total amount over there. Um, took us 12 hours to do, which ends up being about 3.15 mil profit per hour at Gorillas, which is just incredible. Alright, so, I started at 1,475 or 55, I believe, I'll go back and double check, but now I have 1982, and I'll see how many WAP has killed, so we can figure out about how many you can kill per hour in a duo team. Keep in mind as well, we don't have the best gear because we're both rebuilding, and we weren't doing this 100% efficiently, but we'll just give you guys an estimate. Alright, so in total, we killed about 721 gorillas between the two of us, and over 12 hours, that equates to just about 60 an hour, which is not bad. Like I said, you can definitely kill more if you have better gear or you're paying a lot more attention. I think the maximum you'd be able to get is probably 70 to 75, unless, you know, you're using twisted bows and whatnot. So if you guys want to try this out, I strongly encourage you guys to do it. Uh, Waf is actually making a guide on it, so I'm going to reference you guys to Waf's guide. And if you want to see my first episode of my rebuild series, please feel free to check that out as well. I'll leave links to both of those right now at the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you like and subscribe. Leave a comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, and thanks for watching.